New here at 4 o'clock, Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson reveals his first budget. There are no property tax hikes, but aldermen have questions about how the city will pay for the new programs that he is promising. Let's get right out to our political reporter, Marianne Ahern. She's been watching all the developments today. She's live at City Hall. Marianne. Good afternoon, Alex. The mayor promises to close this more than $500 million budget gap using tax increment financing. Those TIF dollars usually traditionally have been used to spur new business development. That strategy, the mayor's proposal today, he does have supporters at City Hall, but he also has critics. I made a commitment to invest in people without balancing this budget on the backs of working families. In his first budget address, Mayor Brandon Johnson's $16.6 billion plan promises no property tax hike and at the same time will fill a $538 million deficit. That we balance this budget without increasing the city's base property tax. Spending for police is flat, with the mayor promising, though, to promote 100 more new detectives, but no mention made of patrol officers. To get to a detective, you take a police officer off the street, take a blue shirt off the street. And a detective is, even though I love my detectives, I cherish them and they do the noble work, um, that's post-crime initiatives. There is an increase in spending for youth employment, $75 million, and other new spending includes... 15 million for mental health, including reopening two mental health clinics. A new Department of Environment reinstated with a $1.8 million budget. I don't see how we get there. Uh, a lot of things are were sent out as pie in the sky. So how will the city pay for it all? The mayor will tap into $434 million in TIF funds and is projecting a $187 million increase in revenue from taxes. It's a proposal at this point, and aldermen are divided before the hearings begin. There's a lot of new programming coming in. There's a Department of Environment. There's uh, some programs that he was pushing for with certain aldermen. I think trying to figure out how to pay for those, you know, where that revenue is coming from. This budget is a good budget. It reflects progressive good governance, and I'm really excited for the conversation in the coming weeks. And those conversations begin soon. Budget hearings start next week. For the next four weeks, the mayor is hoping to see his budget passed before Thanksgiving. Reporting live from City Hall, Marianne Ahern, NBC5 News. Always interesting to see. Thank you, Marianne. I know you'll be on top of it. <laughs>